I just wanted to first off say thank you so much for all the support on my last vlog. I will link it in the comments below, but um, that particular topic for me uh, was a huge burden off my heart and my shoulders, and I am so excited um, for where I'm going with things, and I'm so floored by the women who came out of the woodwork and sent me texts and emails and uh, Facebook messages and tweeted me and just said, oh my gosh, thank you so much for putting this out there. Um, guys, that's, that's the only reason why I really chose to do this YouTube channel is to put some content out there that I feel is a little bit more raw, unedited um, way to share with you guys my experiences. But on a lighthearted uh, situation, the next clip you're gonna see is my last workout at my old gym. Um, it's a chest workout, cause yes, I am a bikini competitor, and yes, I have had a breast augmentation, and yes, I still train chest. I noticed a huge um, shoulder development and change in my shoulder composition when I started really focusing on those chest workouts. So you guys are gonna see that. And be sure to come back for, ladies, I've got a Lululemon haul for you girls who have lats and are struggling with this sports bra game for sure. So guys, here I am going under the bar for uh, 135. And this has been a PR of mine. I haven't really been able to go up above 135. So what you saw there was two reps that I didn't quite feel comfortable with the lift off from the bar. So now you'll see me finish off with six reps for my first set. So for my second set, since 135 was a little bit of a struggle for me, I wanted to hit a rep range of 10 to 12, so I dropped down to 115 here. It actually seemed relatively easy, so I probably could have um, made use of those two and a halfs and added that to the barbell and probably been sufficient, especially with um, my husband to spot me. going for my final set uh, of the barbell bench press. This is going to be 95 and I will aim for 12 to 15 reps here. So I definitely do look forward to my next uh, bench press day because I now know that uh, I potentially can get some higher numbers here in these higher volume sets. So here I am with an inclined chest fly. This is going to be my maximum set uh, at 45 pound dumbbells and my goal is going to be 6 to 9 reps here. So this is going to be my second set of the inclined dumbbell flies with the 35s and my goal here is going to be 10 to 12 reps. There are multiple sets here that you're not going to see but just for saving 
the sake of seeing the same exercise twice. I'll be done with the incline chest flies. So the final movement to my workout are these low cable chest flies. These are a movement I've really been working on incorporating into my chest day training and I've struggled tremendously with them. You'll notice how I only have about 20 pounds on each stack and I struggle to get through about seven reps here. That's it. Oh. Oh. I was just moving in for the great shot there. but again just gonna see two sets here and you'll notice my form is a little bit more controlled here with this weight this is a weight I've been traditionally used to All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that fun chest workout. And I am here in my new office. So, well, it's not really decorated at all and there's still stuff everywhere, but I wanted to get this vlog up. This is gonna have my nine week physique update in it and I actually am at eight weeks out. But you know, with the move, I'm just getting behind. So um, hopefully Hershey won't um, interrupt this video too much. She's barking around. But first off, I want to show you guys. All right, so if you are struggling in the sports bra game because you're a woman with lats, um, Lululemon typically has probably not been your go-to for sports bra simply because sizing is a little bit funky for women with um, A, a breast augmentation, and B, lats. And, um, yeah, so I just kind of want to talk a little bit about some of the designs that have worked really well for me and some of the new pieces that are out in the collection. So first I have on the Pure Practice Bra. So the cool thing about this bra is it's also a cute little crop top. So I just wanted to show you guys. You can pair it with a skirt um, or your high-waisted Lulus, but I will step back. So you guys can kind of see that even though I have, do have a wider back that it is very flattering and it's got great support in it and now I wear traditionally, oh that was right up my nose, I wear traditionally a size 4 or 6 in various Lulu tops. Jackets I like a 6, tank tops I like a 4. In sports bras, I have to go up to a size eight. So, for women who have had a breast augmentation, please take that into consideration. You are probably going to have to go up a size. Um, plus, it also is more forgiving with your lats and underarm area, so you don't get that uh, armpit uh, fall over. So, um, yeah. So, this is, again, the Pure Practice Bra, size eight. I got it in this cute little plum color, but they also have it in black, which I will probably also be getting. So, next, okay, so before you see this next bra, I do want to talk to you a little bit about the Pure Practice Bra. Um, when I first tried this on in the fitting room, it was like a jungle gym, trying to get into it and a workout in itself. So don't get discouraged. Um, you may wanna even try it on at your home instead of in the store. Um, so anyways, I just kinda wanna talk to you a little bit about it. There is an inside support strap that goes into the back and also an inside support strap that's in the front. So when you do put it on, just be sure you have all of those pieces separated. And again, it has that crisscross in the back detail, and this is pretty seamless through here too. So um, there's lots of ways you can get stuck and tangled. Um, luckily, the girls at the uh, store here um, were very helpful with me and getting it out, getting me out of it. But um, best suggestion is to not to get discouraged. It is worth the purchase, but don't get frustrated in the dressing room the first time if you can't get it on the right way. Okay, so. 
Now, we have the Make a Move bra, which I believe they released a couple of weeks ago um, in like a couple of plain colors. Now they have this great burgundy. So this is one of them that I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about because the detailing is so centered in the back, you're actually not having much of the fabric concentrated at your lat, so it is more flattering. And again, not having some of that armpit spillover because most of the fabric is centered into the back. So again, this is the Make a Move bra in maroon. I believe they had it in white, black, um, and I forget, maybe like some sort of patterned color, but I really love it. It's got the double strap detailing. And again, another great cute one to wear under tank tops or even for a workout. I will say that this one is less supportive than the Pure Practice bra. The Pure Practice bra is very supportive. This one's gonna be more for, you know, your weightlifting, not much cardio kind of workouts. So, next one. Third and final bra is the Ready, Set, Sweat bra. So, I typically do not go for uh, pink or neon colors. Neon colors make me think of like Spring Break 98, PCB style uh, airbrushed t-shirts. I don't know why, but I rarely wear fluorescents because of that. I feel like they just don't really work well on me. But I do have this bra in black and it is on sale in some of the stores right now. So I absolutely adore the black one. So I was like, I gotta get this one too, cause it's on sale. So um, the great thing is that you have this cute little uh, detail with the zipper. I actually prefer to keep it zipped. I don't really like it hanging out. But this is a super supportive bra. Super great for high impact cardio. Um, just great detailing. And again, for being such a thick strap and super supportive bra for women with flats, it's also detailing is mainly in the center of the back. So it doesn't have a whole lot of flat spillover which is great. And the black one, to be honest, is very, very like formal looking. So you could even wear it with like a high-waisted skirt. Um, it's awesome if you can find it. Uh, like I said, it is on sale right now. Some stores might still have it. So be sure to go out and get the Ready Set Sweat Bra. So there you have the Lulu haul and Lulu for lats. <laughs> because I know how much of a struggle it is and it can be a workout in itself just to get in some of the bras there, but they do have some great pieces for women like us. So, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the haul, if you like clothing trials, this is something totally new for me. I haven't done this kind of thing. But, um, so if you like it, comment below. Um, if you have these sports bras too, let me know what colors you have because I love them and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again for watching and thank you guys again for all your support through my run for two. And when you're trying to get your chest striations in the camera, oh, there they are.